Uh, let's do the SEC. Now, the SEC, uh, this one, you know, interesting, of course, because there are a lot of good teams in the SEC in basketball this season. Uh, the two that I like the most, and it's not the one seed or uh, the two or, well, no, nah, it, it's not the one seed or the three seed, right? It's not Auburn or Kentucky for me uh, because those are the two that have, I think, the longest odds. I'm trying to pull it up here. Um, the ones that I do like, I like Arkansas a lot at plus 600, and I like Tennessee at plus 400. Uh, Tennessee is the two seed. Arkansas is the four seed, so they are on opposite ends of the bracket from each other. Uh, Auburn scares me away from home, right? They, they have not played well on the road, um, but you can't deny their roster. I mean, they are really, really good. Kentucky should be getting Severe Wheeler back. They should be getting Ty Ty Washington back, so they should be pretty good. Uh, Kentucky would likely have to play Alabama in their first what, what round. What are Kentucky's odds? Uh, Kentucky is plus 200. Oh, man, that's short. And Ooh. Auburn Auburn is plus 275. Yeah. So then, then you got Tennessee at plus 400 and Arkansas at plus 600. Uh, Tennessee closed the year, I think, 7-1 and one down the stretch. And let's see, Arkansas uh, won, what, 14 or 15 of their last 17 or 14 of their last 16, something crazy like that. So Arkansas has been... Uh, Note for Arkansas is just a an absolute beast, um, but Tennessee, mm, like, okay, uh, go ahead, go ahead, uh, tell me, tell me your thoughts here. Well, I think, I think, I think a lot of that Arkansas resume is fraudulent. I mean, I think with Tennessee playing them this weekend, we saw that. Um, I, I'm, I'm a little bit jaded. This is very biased. Uh, that LSU game, LSU would have beat the hell out of them. Arkansas got about seven calls late in the last four minutes that all went their way. That I mean, some of these. Charge calls are blocking calls. Yeah, blocking and charge calls were pretty obscene, pretty ridiculous. And, you know, it's just the SEC refs have made it clear. They don't like Will Wade. They're just not going to, they're just not going to let him get anything. Um, so if you bet on LSU, you're wasting your money. That, that there's nothing they can do to win it. Um, I, I think some of those wins by Arkansas are a little fraudulent. Uh, the, when they played, uh, Mississippi State, same thing. I think, I think they got a, shit ton of calls go their way that I think we're all wrong. We're all bad. We're all poorly called. Uh, and and when they played Tennessee and they got a game where the game got called kind of straight up, <laughs> Tennessee kind of beat the hell out of them. So that, that's my only fear. I, I like the Tennessee bet at plus 400. Um, I do think Kentucky's probably – it's it, you know, they're the two seed. Vegas got them as the odds to win it. Uh, I, I think that's the right call. But I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't bet them or Auburn just because I don't like the odds. I would take Tennessee. That would be my play. Yeah, Tennessee at plus 400 makes a lot of sense. Uh, they, let's see, they won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of their last 10. Uh, yeah. and, and I, handled... I think Tennessee's one of the, you know, 13 teams in the country that I think can actually win the national championship. Whew. Uh, don't get me wrong. They they certainly have. Uh, I mean, they got good point guard play. They got play uh, down low. Fulkerson's great. Um, Kennedy Chandler at, at the point, like he's he's kind of coming into himself a little bit. I do like Tennessee a lot. Uh, I just I I wonder about this team playing away from Thompson Bowling Arena, right? And that's that's the one thing that we got to figure out about. Well, yeah, Auburn, Auburn hadn't played well on the road. I mean, uh, none of these have, teams have. Any have. Of these other teams played great on the road. Okay, then what does it matter? All and right. that's it. See, that's the thing is you're trying to figure out. So all right, if who, all of them are bad at it or have been inconsistent at it, then you can't be afraid of it for anybody. True. Uh, let's because see. It's a neutral point. Rising tide raises all ships, and and, 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 and it also lowers them. You let's know. Let's see the the teams that are the best uh, as far as their record goes uh, away from home in the SEC since uh, you know it since January first. Uh, Tennessee is five and four. Auburn is six and three. Kentucky is six and four. Arkansas five and three. Uh, let's see. LSU went two and seven. Texas A and M four and five. Alabama three and six. Florida four and five. You know, and South Carolina went four and five. So, eh, who knows? Who knows? This uh, this this could be a little a little interesting. I, the SEC tournament is always a little oh, bit of a crap shoot. Yeah, I think it's going to be yep. nuts. Like I I don't know that anybody saw Alabama and LSU getting to the championship game last season uh, with the way that both of them finished down the stretch. Uh, but you never know who can turn it on when they need to, right? 
Like that's yeah. that's the biggest thing here. Agreed. So Arkansas plus six hundred, Tennessee plus four hundred, and you you like the Tennessee plus four hundred there, uh, but you don't really see anybody coming from out of the woodworks. You know, A and M is plus five thousand, and I, I was I was just about to say A and M and and South Carolina. Those are the two, and it's only because they have coaches that I've seen make runs before. That would be a yeah. play on the coach, not on the team. I've seen them get hot in the tournaments and know how to coach their way through these things and uh, and do it well. That, that, those would be what are those two lines? You got five thousand and what's South Carolina? South Carolina is plus Stupid. twelve thousand five hundred. Yeah, like, like it's going to be. I mean, these are these are obviously long, long, long shots, but that's what they are. They're long shots. Yeah, no. A and M finished out the year winning five of their last six. They went on the road and just destroyed Ole Miss and Alabama back to back on the road. Um, they they beat Florida at home. They the thing that scares me about A and M is they open with Florida on Thursday, and then they would have to play Auburn, and then you get either LSU or Arkansas, and that's before you even get to the championship game. But, but I mean, you're you're saying all this because you're looking at numbers and you're looking at seeds. But we just talked about how all of these teams are flawed, and all of these teams are really good, and anybody could win this tournament. Yeah, so no, you're, you're not wrong. You can't play the game of, well, they got to play this team. Well, then they got to play that team. Well, Auburn has shown they can lose on the road to anybody. That so, is true. What does that matter, playing Auburn second? Uh, it doesn't necessarily matter. It's just uh, having to play Florida the day before you play Auburn and then having to go play I don't know that, don't know that, that matters. Florida, Florida's been one of the most disappointing basketball teams I've seen all year. So, yeah, but they but they've been that, like that every every year under Mike White. <laughs> that that is one team that I don't think can make a run in the SEC. Yeah, no, I I believe you there. Florida is uh is also plus five thousand. So yeah, no, I'd, I'd much rather have South Carolina at twelve thousand five hundred than Florida at five. Yeah, I tend to agree. I tend to agree. All right, I think that's going to wrap it and up. Florida might beat them. But they it might. Doesn't matter. I'd still take the. I'd still take the plus twelve. Yeah, I don't. I don't take Florida to to actually win uh, the tournament. I mean, I, I just don't no think way. they can do it. I can't think they. I don't think they okay. can string wins. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything dot com or Chris at winningcureseverything dot com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.